Hey guys, this is Nicole again. I just wanted to do a quick little video today. Uh, this one will be aimed more at newbie uh, paper crafters. The more experienced among you probably don't need this information. But just a little bit on the different types of books and book bindings that you can pick up. And what I've found is the best way to actually get the pages out of each type of book. So I've got a few of the more common ones here. The first one we've got here is a stitch bound book. You can recognize these ones. I've marked the page here. They have stitches and sections of folded paper are called uh, signatures. So your pages will each be folded in half and then stitched in in signatures. And when you open the book, you can see that there's a gap in the spine there. So these pages are actually stitched onto uh, usually a piece of fabric or a piece of paper which is then glued in here so these are the lines that you can see in these types of books here the next one we have is a glued or perfect binding so these ones all of the pages are cut to size laid together and glued along the spine edge and then the cover is glued over the top. These ones are easy to tell by the fact that all of the page edges sit together. You can sometimes see a little bit of the glue in here. And when you open it up, you might actually find that your spine doesn't sit flat. When it's sitting on a bench, it tends to sit like that. And the last one is a basic... A staple bound book. I don't know if you can actually see the staples on there, but if you open up to the middle of the book, you will see the inside of the staples. So, with these books, really easy. All you have to do is pull out the staple. I wouldn't recommend using your nails like I normally do. Well, best thing to use is a pair of craft pliers. If you get ones that have little uh, lines on the inside of them, it makes it a little bit easier to grip. But once you've pulled the staples out, the pages will just fall apart. With your a perfect bound book, there's a few different options. You can either cut your pages out or you can just tear them out. You'll find that with these ones, if you break the glue along the spine, so just gently pull at the cover until it comes loose there. Sometimes a bit less gently. And then if you get your page that you want to tear out, start from one edge and just gently pull away, you'll get your page loose. Now there's a few different ways with the signature bound books and it really depends on if you want to pull out the whole book or if you just want to pull out a page. If you're pulling out one page from the book, you have to remember that the opposite page in the signature, so the other half of the page, will also fall out. So I tend to take out the whole lot at once. You can either use a craft knife or just a pair of scissors. And I like to open it up like that so that you can see that there's the gap here. And using my scissors, cut along the gap. Then once you've got one side done, it's a lot easier to do the other side. I like to fold the cover that I've done over. So here's the spine of the book and here's the front cover. And then you open up the page and you'll see that there's a nice um, easy line to cut along there. got your book separated from your cover. Now depending on what you're doing you can use both of them. Uh, some people use these covers for covers for their own journals or their own books. Uh, some people even make little purses out of them, uh, put a zipper around the edge and make it into a little clutch. They can be a bit cute too. But then once you've got this, so say for example if I wanted to take 
this page out and tear it out of here but then the corresponding page in the signature has not a lot holding it into the edge so just keep that in mind if you're only pulling out one page you may have to find the corresponding page and pull that out too so i hope this has helped a few of you newbies and if you'd like more tips and tricks like this uh, please leave a comment below thank you